Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A driver uses brakes on a car to descend a hill at constant speed. What is correct about the internal energy of the brake discs? Okay, fine. So, what is correct about the internal energy? So, what is happening now? Because there is a hill and this vehicle is trying to go down, so obviously there will be an acceleration and the velocity has to increase. So, if the velocity is increasing, so I would say the kinetic energy will increase. But now the condition is that it is moving at a constant speed. So, we are not letting kinetic energy increase. So, where is the increased kinetic energy going? When we apply the brake, that kinetic energy is getting converted into heat. The brakes are providing friction. So, kinetic energy is doing work against friction. Now, that work against friction is getting converted into heat. Now, where that heat is going? That heat is being absorbed by the material with which the brakes are made, whether plastic or whether metal. Okay. So, whatever be the material, that material is getting heated up. So, we know that whenever, see, what we, we know from the theory that the internal energy is the sum of kinetic energy of the molecules or the atoms plus the potential energy of the molecules or the atoms inside the material. Now, the molecules are not free to move because it's a solid, but the vibrational energy is increasing vibrational energy means when the temperature increases the the um, the uh, atoms which are placed in the structure they are now vibrating so they are vibrating vigorously because it's solid they cannot move around so it will keep on vibrating the vibration will become even more vigorous more is the temperature more is the vibration so that is why we can say that the internal energy of the system will definitely increase because the temperature is increased. So my answer in this question will be A. So this is the explanation for this question. It's a very simple question. So with this, all the best. Bye.